Pyrekin Studio. This is the west of my TV. The TV is broken. Should I publish this video? Public. It's just like this. Oh, editor, what are you doing? My mind is wet down. Forget it. Let's continue. Also, so I was going to fix the TV. Let's will make a song, but no video. Then the TV was repaired and returned to normal, but the screen is broken. I'm trying to repair a TV which is some, but no picture today. Let's take a look at the TV without picture, but some. I use my phone to transmit the single. At this time, Pyrekin so he will fix the TV perfectly. This is so naive. <laughs> Listen, there is sound on TV. But no display at all. I feel this kind of malfunction has been increasing in recent years. Let's take a part first. Wow, you see, there are only two circuit bolts. The working voltage will come out after power on here. This is the power cord of the light bar. I feel that the working voltage is normal. I want to make sure it's resistant. The measurement result is open. I think there are light bars inside. At this time, I don't have a LED tester. So I have to take it apart. The process was not filmed at that time. I don't know what happened, then I broken the LED panel. <gasps> Pyrekin, you! 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 You broke the TV! No, I... I... I checked. The panel do not include shipping, cost $17. But the death still going. This is the light bar removed from this TV before. I think this can also be repaired. Now break it down and try it if there is a way to replace a ball patch. Then I got the LD tester to test these bars that are really faulty. First, take down the LED used in the last environment. Look, there are many burnt. Now mark this spots. Light bar and LED tester part. You can refer to the video of unboxing LED tester. You need to remove the light guide before replacing the lamp bits. Actually, pry it open is not hard. 
Then we have to confirm the size of the patch. Generally use 3030 patch. The floating patch can be blown off from the button using the hit thumb. It's easy. This is the 3030 patch. See what it looks like. It actually looks like 2835 of the ball. The contact on the back side is narrow for positive and wide for negative. Use LED tester to test. It's light up. First, fix a little solder on the light bar. Don't add too much solder, as long as the patch can be soldered on is enough. And it's a little light you used to repair the light bulbs before. Yes, it's the same seams. Oh, it can still be used like this. So now, TVs are not durable like this. Hey, after you will be disappeared if you talk like this. Then use a hot air gun, you can attach the patch. I've done it before, it's actually not very difficult. Head down temperature sitting at 500 Celsius. Clean the light bar with green nephler. Attach the light guide sheet with super glue. Brightness and color are average. Now let the TV light out the light bar. Push the button. Great! The effect is very good. Now start to reinstall the backlight module and LCD panel. The backlight film should be put back in original order. Now ready to install the panel. The camera is out of the focus again. In fact, the panel is very fragile. Be careful. Cover the holder. Connect all the connectors. Then just reinstall all the parts.
You see, it's actually not difficult, right? To best screw. Okay, we are done. Oh, I saw this panel crack again. This TV has been assembled. Although I broke its panel, but let's compare the difference between before and the after repair. If it's not the panel accidentally broken by me today, this TV was actually repaired less than one dollar. But this is the risk of a repair because it doesn't always succeed. This is the cost of a risk when we walk. Let's take a look at the condition of this TV after repair. The screen lights up. But there is no excitement at all. Okay, let everyone take a look at Pyraking Studio. Okay, try a few more times and you will succeed. If you have no time to try, subscribing to Pyraking Studio can also improve your repairability and creativity. Subscribe to share and like. See you next time.